Hey guys, it's Christian and today we need to talk about the recent change in the Docker Hub rate limits that you should definitely be aware of if you're pulling container images from the Docker Hub, which I think almost everybody watching this channel sometimes does. So this is really a hot topic everybody needs to know because starting on April the 1st, one day after publishing this video and no, this is no joke, the Docker Hub usage and limits will be updated to only allow 10 pulls per hour for unauthenticated users and 100 pulls per hour for every authenticated user with a free account. So otherwise, if you go beyond that, you will be rate limited. And that means you won't be able to pull down new container images at least for one hour. Now, this definitely will become a huge problem for many, many people, especially in automation pipelines that usually are not authenticated to the Docker Hub, but frequently have to pull new container images to run their execution tasks. Remember, in one of my last videos where we we talked about GitLab CI CD. Yes, this is exactly where this will become a problem for us. So yeah, this definitely will become annoying. However, I'm not the one who likes to blame Docker too much for making this change because keep in mind, they are maintaining the Docker Hub, this massive platform that literally everybody uses to host container images entirely for free. So I can somehow understand why they wanted to make this change yeah, and limiting the request from the free users and giving somebody at least a reason to buy the premium <laughs> Docker Hub subscription. But yeah, it definitely will introduce a bunch of issues. Even GitLab has released a blog post about this change where they talk about the new pull rate limits and what that actually means for GitLab CI CD pipelines. So here they address all of these issues and explain what's going to happen. The cool thing is that they also tell us how to mitigate these challenges. For example, they added one new feature in the GitLab dependency proxy that will allow automated pipelines to authenticate to the Docker Hub, which will increase the rate limits to 100 pulls per hour instead of just 10. Of course, there are also some other ways around it, like Docker Hub is, of course, not the one and only container registry that you can use. You can think about just using a different container registry that is still free, like the GitLab container registry. This is all built into their platform. And of course, this also means you can self-host this in your environment. So when you're building container images in an automation pipelines, just don't publish them to Docker Hub, just upload them to GitLab. And of course, GitHub also has some equivalent solution. The GitHub container registry that I'm sometimes using for publishing my container images that are tied to a GitHub repository. So you can see there are definitely ways around it. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Many organizations now start thinking about if they would migrate to another container registry after this change, maybe to GitHub or GitLab, where their open source projects are hosted anyways. But of course, the Docker Hub is still the biggest platform that most of the organizations and container images just use. So sometimes, so sometimes there are no easy ways around it. However, I still would like to show you how you can easily increase the rate limit on the Docker Hub from 10 to 100, because that hopefully is enough for your environment. The one thing you have to do when you're pulling down images uh, to your local device or maybe uh, on a server that you're hosting, for example, when I connect to my test server here and I want to use Docker pull to pull down images without any authentication, I can do that 10 times per hour. Now, if I want to increase that, I will have to sign up on the Docker Hub. I either create an account or log in with an existing one. And once you are logged in, so then you just click on your profile icon and go to account settings. And here you just go to personal access tokens. So here you can create a new token that you can use to authenticate to your account. You can also create separate tokens for CICD pipelines. For example, if you want to use that on your local workstation, you can create a read, write and delete a token that gives you the permissions to do anything on your account. But if you're using that just to pull down public repositories for your CICD pipelines, you can use the public repo read only access permission. Now, I still want to uh, use one, the read only for my private repositories, because maybe if you have private container images, you also want to pull down these. So let's just give it a test token. One, for example, it has no expiration date. So let's generate this. And then it gives you the commands that you have to use to log in to the Docker Hub. So here, when you log in with your user account, you have to fill in the password. No, this is not your account password. This is the token that we've just generated. So use it here. And then it just says, log in succeeded. We can now pull down container images from our private repositories or from the public repositories with increased rate limits. 
But one thing that I also want to show you is how do you actually use this in GitLab CI CD pipelines? Because if you've watched my latest video, we have a test runner that we've created during the video, and this is using a Docker executor. So every time the GitLab runner has to execute a pipeline, it will first pull down a container image to execute all of these steps. And the more images you are using in your automation pipelines and the more it's pulling down the latest version, you might hit that rate limit pretty fast, depending on how many projects you have, how many automation pipelines you want to run and how many images you're using in these. So therefore, it would be useful if the GitLab runner as well would authenticate to the Docker Hub so that it can pull down 100 uh, images per hour. And the way how you do this is if we go back to my testing server and go to the GitLab runners configuration. So here we have a config toml file. So here, remember from my latest video, I have explained how you configure this. So here's the token, here's the Docker executor. And when you want to add an authentication for the container images that should be started here, you have to use the so-called Docker auth config data. So this authenticates to a container registry with a specifically uh, created authentication string. This is a combination of the username and password converted to base 64. So here, if you scroll down, there is an example of what you have to put into the TOML configuration file. So here under the runners uh, config settings, there is an environment variable that you have to set called docker auth config. And in here is a JSON configuration object that contains the registry and the username and password converted string. So let me just copy this here. Under the runners config settings, more specifically here, and of course we need to change this authentication string. So if you want to use the Docker Hub to pull down the images, we need to add the URL of the Docker Hub registry, index.docker.io slash v1. And then we need to fill in here the authentication string for my username and password. So first of all, we have to craft it. So I'm just quickly opening a new terminal and then we will echo my username, colon, and then the token. And then we will pipe this to the base64 encoder. And the string that comes out of it, we just need to copy and paste it here in the auth config setting. And that's basically all you have to do. So we will do one test here. For example, I have configured the default image to use the XCAD2K Ubuntu test one image. And if I go back to my Docker Hub, you can see this is a private image. So I would not be able to pull this image down if I would not have authenticated the Docker executor on GitLab. So this way you can test if you're authenticated correctly and if everything works and you really are locked into your account. So first of all, of course, I need to save these settings here and restart the GitLab runners container. So once it is reconnected to the GitLab instance, we can uh, initiate a new pipeline execution. So I'm just executing the test script, the deploy engine script. It doesn't matter. It's just a very basic test. The one and only thing that we want to check here is when we click on the test script, you can see during the logs that you see authenticating with the credentials from the Docker auth config. All right, so that's basically everything you need to know, but I just wanted to make this quick video to give you a heads up about what's happening and how you can mitigate the pull rate limits on the Docker app. I think this is pretty important. And by the way, if you want to support all these free tutorials and content that I'm creating, it would be so amazing if you would consider signing up on my Patreon program or the YouTube memberships to support me. That makes all of this stuff possible. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all of my supporters. And of course, I'm going to catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.